We are currently in their final preparations ahead of tomorrow's school's reopening after being home for nearly nine months. And as though some may be heading to school with fears, none of them will be turned away as directed by the Ministry of Education. Nano Chlorin caught up with some of them and has filed the following report. When Education Cabinet Secretary Professor George Magoha announced that 4th January will be the date for learners to go back to school, Joseph Njeli, a Form 1 student in Embakasi Garrison Secondary School, was more than delighted to be resuming classes after being home for nearly nine months. Nice vizuri kwa sababu ni najua naenda shule kesho. Kwa sababu Magoha alisema watoto wato enda shule. Asa najua nitaenda shule kesho. Joseph, together with his four other siblings, has set aside school uniforms, books and school bags that are available for them as for now, items that will make them comfortable for the first few weeks in school. I have a book, a uniform, but I have to shave it. I have a bag, However, the preparation journey has not been smooth for Joseph's mother and perhaps other parents who have not been in a position to raise school fees for their children. But with CS Magoha's statement that no child should be turned away for lack of school fees has given them hope that their children will resume learning. <laughs> Face masks have now been added into the list of requirements learners are expected to have when they go back to school. Imali has planned to get each of her five children two washable face masks that cost around 10 shillings each. And learners traveling to Nairobi were stranded for an entire day in various bus stations in Eldoret town ahead of Monday school reopening over scarce vehicles and hiked prices with parents taking their children back to school being forced to postpone their journey. However, Transport Cabinet Secretary James Masharia has called on Matatu operators not to hike fair prices as parents are just from a tough season. We have agreed that they will not hike the fares. We appreciate that and recognize the fact that parents are coming from a very difficult period whereby they are constrained economically. The last thing we want is them to be overcharged in terms of the kids going back to school. The church on its side has called on the government to put in place measures to aid teachers in containing learners in schools that do not have enough infrastructure as well as educating school girls against unwanted teenage pregnancies when they resume learning. Hata kuna mashule zingine hazichachengwa especially the hawana machengo ya kuzipiti wanafunzi wote so serikali charibu pia kusaidia eh, walimu Vile wanaweza, eh, wanaweza kaisha watoto kwa shule. Sisi wazazi waenda wakae, wakaishe watoto wao wakuwaongelesha kuwafunza kwa sababu kupata mimba mapema ni kukosa mashauri. Preparations for all learners to resume learning Monday morning are still ongoing. And despite issues such as lack of school fees arising, the Ministry of Education has insisted that all students must report to class. Nanokloren, TV 47, Embakasi, Nairobi.